All right. You're listening to your hometown radio classic 1220. You're listening to here with Farley, and I got your main man, Call Carl. He's from the Remax in Uptown here, right next door uh, across uh, on Lake Street here. Carl Carl, welcome back yeah. to the show. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much, Farley. Uh, always exciting to be here. Fun being in the in the booth with you today. Yeah, yeah. So it's a fresh week, and obviously we know how the housing market goes. Every week's a, a fresh new day, so to speak. So what's happening this week? Oh, for sure. Well, we're in the midst of uh, of the spring market. First week of May. Optimism's in the air, uh, and uh, the the market is uh, is hitting the ground, and it's it's running. It's uh, it's it's a healthy market. It's doing really well. And uh, I, I'm getting to work every day with a with a purpose. That's so, awesome. I'm, yeah. su- I'm assuming also this time of year, it being spring, everyone's spring cleaning either their actual house or getting rid of a house, selling and moving and all that stuff. Is this a little bit more of a time people do move because it's nice out? Whatnot? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know what? The most popular day of the year for people to actually close their homes is the is the final Friday of of June. It's that uh, it's that date okay. where everyone has this uh, mindset that they're going to have this new chapter, this new beginning. Come, you know that that first of July, yeah, yeah. get into the home. Uh, for a lot of families that uh, are you know concerned about the the school schedule, it allows them to kind of get into the home for a month or two before they maybe have to go and transfer schools uh, and or. Uh, just like yeah, in, enjoy life. So it's it really is like a, a next stage, a next factor in uh, in real estate. So uh, you work that back two months from July first or the yeah. last Friday of June, and uh, here we are, sixty days out in uh, in the beginning of May, yeah. and uh, things are rocking and rolling. So if there's any like thirty, sixty day closes, they're just getting started for and, sure. And then if there's a ninety day, they're about a month in, they got a couple months before they, they got to go out, whatnot. Yeah, you know what? And, uh, you know, for me, uh, it's a sure sign of spring. Yeah, the birds are chirping. The magnolias are in bloom. <laughs> Everyone's out doing yard yeah, work. It's yeah. uh, it's an exciting time. Yeah. Now, it is spring and we're outside, but I'm not sure if you're a hockey fan. Yeah, absolutely. But uh, the Leafs are actually going into game six tonight. And this is related to housing, I promise. <laughs> um Let's say in Toronto, the Leafs make it all the way, hypothetically, and they yeah. win the cup. Does, Whoa. does that affect the housing market? In, in I know we're farther from Toronto, but is there like a ripple effect and when something like that happens? Oh, yeah, uh, the housing market in relation to the Leafs. Now, there's a, there's a, <laughs> a fantastic <Well>, analyzation <laughs> study. I can tell you, you know, like play off of, uh, of that analysis. Right now, where people are are dusting off their their pool bars and their patios, mm-hmm. for me, I can't think of anything better for the the spring time than watching the Leafs outdoors. Yeah. So if people are are on this uh, bandwagon, fan wagon journey <laughs> with the Maple Leafs, like me and my family are, yeah, yeah, yeah. then yeah, absolutely, they're thinking about like where to set up the TV outside, where they're going to have friends and family. And for me, it's all about congregating with uh, with loved ones and. And cheering on the blue and white, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that does promote <laughs> backyards and uh, how we can all live our best lives in our backyards. Gotcha. Um, yeah, because yeah. I've always wondered that because we have, and then like if the, either if the Raptors win or the Blue Jays win, that stirs up a lot of people are just excited and people are more willing to sometimes spend money. And yeah. I know housing is a little bit more on the extreme end. Sure, but I'm you know if, let's say the one of them goes on a few year run and they do really well for three years a lot of people are gonna in my mind feel like they're gonna move maybe closer be a little closer yep. to the hub because they want to be part of that magic that's going on in the city at the moment i like it i'm never gonna look at the spring market uh, <laughs> the same way uh, again knowing that uh you know people are going to be investing in these backyards <laughs> yeah. and uh patio pool bar setups yeah, if yeah. Uh, their team goes on a big run and they so. got those little mini projectors now that you can shoot onto like the side of the house yes so uh, or if you have a big wall in the back yeah i've, I've hey, got a couple of those. Im- Im- work they work Improve your surround sound stereo. Oh yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, get a little uh, you know twelve twenty <laughs> on the radio. Maybe when the the game is in play. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. In so, between. Yeah. Yeah. Intermissions, you get some classic rock going for sure. For sure, and uh, you know it's always enjoyable being in the studio with you, Farley. And uh, one thing I just wanted to to make sure that I was able to talk about was. Uh, I'm having a really big open house this weekend. Absolutely, and, Baba. yeah, thank you. And uh, and I'm kind of excited about it. It's not just your your everyday open house. I have a property that uh, I was uh, speaking to last week with uh, with Danny, 
and uh, it's a new listing I have on uh, 38 Maple Street in the uh, in downtown Midtown St. Catharines. What uh, is at the top of what I consider to be one of the most desirable walking streets that we have in St. Catharines, Wolseley Gardens, and uh, it's just a rich historical 1906 built redstone home that is 2,600 square feet, has five bedrooms, three bathrooms. It's got like rich uh, thick baseboards and headers, original hardwood floors. It has a, a butler's pantry. It actually has a secondary <laughs> butler staircase. And uh, this home is just really special and one of these really magical areas in our community. And uh, so I'm excited. historical almost. So yeah. Like oh, that. It's I, been here for a while. and Absolutely. And it has been beautifully restored over the years. Modern historical. Absolutely. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, so I'm excited. Uh, Saturday, I'm going to be having an open house from 1 till 2.30. Just at the, at the tail end of Wolseley Gardens, where the house sits, on the opposite side is a, a beautiful Parisian cafe on the corner of Wolseley and Russell. And uh, I've arranged to have coffee and uh, fresh baked French croissants uh, at the open house. You're going all there's, out for these guys. Yeah, <laughs> and there's a, a really renowned local artist named Jennifer Elliotson who has uh, arranged to have uh, all of her paintings displayed within this home. So it's almost like a, a, like a living gallery. Damn. And we're making this uh, really cool experience for not only the community of uh, the Fitzgerald neighborhood, but also to the public at large to, to come in experience the home, maybe fall in love with the home, <laughs> and uh, just see it. It's got a beautiful magnolia out front that's in bloom, uh, mature gardens out back. It's really a home that uh, needs to be seen in person to be appreciated. That's awesome. So potentially someone could come in, find out their their favorite coffee spot with their croissants, buy some paintings and hang them in the house they just bought. Yeah. That's ab awesome. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and uh, and of, of course, uh, this will be happening Saturday, which is going to coincide with a big leaf win this evening. Yeah, uh, and uh, it'll be, be game seven. Yes, so, in Boston. Uh, and then we'll be having to talk about where the best place to put that projection screen TV outside <laughs> would be, and uh, and rooting on the Leafs further deep into the playoffs, yes. bringing it uh, bringing it all together. Just hopefully the rain holds off on Saturday. It's supposed to rain a little bit, but it's mostly in the afternoon. So yeah. Well, f f fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Well, yeah. then everyone will be inside the house. Yeah. Looking at it, that's one hundred percent. There you go. Yeah. But that's awesome. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Thank you very much for uh, for for having me by and uh, being able to uh, let everyone know about Thirty Eight Maple Street's open house Saturday from one till two thirty. Absolutely. Thank you, Call Carl, and that is the Remax in sorry uh, up. Yep, the uh, Remax Uphouse Realty. Yes, Remax Uphouse Realty. Your neighbor, right across from Montevello Park. Yes. And everyone's welcome to come by. And, uh, and I'd love to have a meet and greet and a coffee with anybody uh, to talk Leafs or, or whatever, real <laughs> estate. A little bit of both. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, thank you for stopping by. Hey, thank you. Perfect. I'll clean it up, no problem. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. That was great, man. Yeah, thank you. No, no problem. Hopefully... Uh,